Hm? Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> this is Yagami. Excuse me. <laughs> huh? 
Aha. Hm? Excuse me. Up, do you? Segura. Kaito-san told me he'd be here. Don't forget about me next time, yeah? I wish you'd fucking forget about me. Is there a reason your little gang needs to keep meeting up here? It's so nice of you to let us use your store, Higashi-san. Especially when you're clearly so opposed to the idea. Don't talk down to Yakuza, kid. It's okay, Higashi-san. I think we all know you're nicer than you let on. What the hell? Damn, and you're braver than you look, Hoshino-kun. You got the skills to back it up? Just a third-degree black belt. Huh? Not that I've ever had to use it. <sighs> well, wanna call this meeting to order? Sure, I'll do the honors. Masamichi Shintani of the Genda Law Office has been murdered. Given that his eyes were gouged out, it's likely the Mole was responsible. And I'll need all of your help to track him down. The ADDC, huh? Weird time for that to come up again. <laughs> again? It's come up before? We can talk about that later. What's important now is Shintani called them before he was killed. Hmm. I think I remember them being in the news a lot last year. Something about a new drug that could win a Nobel Prize. Yeah, here it is. The ADDC's research into AD9 has now been published in one of the world's leading scientific magazines. Leading to the gathering of reporters from both Japan and abroad that we have here today. It's a brand new dementia drug. They call it AD9. This was right after director Kido from the ADDC published his paper on it. They're still undergoing clinical trials on larger animals, but apparently every single mouse they've given it to has made a full recovery. Now with the, the man giving the presentation here is Dr. Ryusuke Kido, a world leader in neurophysiology and the primary researcher on AD9. He's the one who showed me around the center when I was looking into Okubo's case. Guess he's been the director for a while now. From what I can tell, the Ministry of Health is increasing the ADDC's budget to hasten the development of AD9. They're even adding another building to the center. It's a huge project. <laughs> Damn good deal they've got. I'm still not getting it, though. Why Shintani go and call them? That's what we're about to find out. And there's only one way to do that. Come on! Can't just take a man's phone. First off, we'll need to figure out who Shintani was calling. Yeah, but how are we gonna do that over the phone? I suppose that all depends on your acting skills, Detective Yagami. <laughs> AD9 
ADDC, front desk speaking. Hi there, ma'am. This is... This is Masamichi Shintani. I'm a lawyer from the Genda Law Office. No, oh, it's good to hear from you, Shintani-sama. Could you put me through to the same person I spoke to yesterday? Do you know the extension you wish to reach? Oh, uh, it sort of slipped my mind, sorry. Can you maybe look into the transfer history? <clears throat> Why don't you just tell me what the call was about, and I'll connect you to the proper department. Oh, uh, in that case... It was about the Shinpei Okubo incident. A patient of yours was murdered on site three years ago. You're not with the media, are you? Nope. I'm most certainly a lawyer. Why don't I connect you with our publicity department? They'll know more about what you're looking for. Sure. Please hold, sir. Doesn't sound like you're making much progress. Thank you for waiting. Uh, yes? It seems our publicity department never received a call from a Shintani-sama. I see. Thank you anyway. <laughs> no way this happens over the phone. It'll be faster to just head over there myself. You think that's gonna work? Not sure, but I know the director, remember? Worst case scenario, I come back empty-handed. I'll come with you, Yagami-san. Okay. Me and Agashi will go check out what's going on with the Matsugane family. Shouldn't be tough with Hamura out of the picture. Hey, I don't remember saying I was gonna help you. By the way, Yagami-san, whatever happened to that guy from three years ago? Shinpei Okubo. He's in the detention center. Been there since they gave him his death sentence. Have you ever gone to see him, Yagami-san? No. Why would I? Why do you ask, anyway? <laughs> I don't know. I was wondering what he was like. The case got tons of news coverage, you know. I was also wondering what you thought about the case. I mean, did you really think that he was innocent? Probably. But then he walked. Killed his girlfriend. You defended him for that too, yeah? Yeah. Did you believe him then, too? He kept saying the same thing. How he could never have killed anyone. But... I didn't believe him, no. Fighting for him in court made me sick to my stomach. Do you think he deserves the death penalty? That's enough of the question, Sugiura. <laughs> Woof. My bad. Was that too far? <sighs> nah. If you say so. Um... Yagami-san? You're heading to the ADDC now, yes? I'm gonna grab a taxi for us. I'll wait for you over on Park Boulevard. Over here, Yagami-san. I have a taxi for us. I've heard a bit about this place before. 
But the ADDC, isn't it just one part of a larger organization? If I recall correctly, they call it the Medical Institute. Is that accurate? <laughs> yeah. They own every last inch of this campus. <sighs> it's incredible. Even with all these buildings, they're still getting budget to expand from that new drug. So? Is it the same as you remember? Yeah. Huh? Don't go too far ahead! Yagami-san! What are you all shaken up for? Calm down. Just stick with me and you'll be fine. Got that, Yagami? Yagami-san! Try not to just ditch me, okay? Is something wrong? It's just... After three years, it still looks the same. Huh? Almost like time itself has stopped. Yagami-san. Come on. Front desk's over there. Do you have an appointment, sir? I don't, sorry. My name is Hoshino, from the Genda Law Office. This is my partner, Yagami. We're here to talk about a murder that took place in Kamurocho yesterday. A, a murder? A co-worker of ours named Shintani. He was the victim. We have a record that he called this center before he was killed. Huh? We're hoping you can help us track down exactly who he spoke to. I'm very sorry, sir, but I can't provide such private information. Well... Could I at least talk to Director Kido instead? He's an old friend of mine. Just let him know Yagami stopped by, to say hello. Uh, I don't think that'll be necessary. Look over there. Gentlemen, I really don't know what else you want from me. I have nothing more to say. I've told the police all that I know. Yeah, I know. Sorry about all this, Director. Problem is, my partner here won't give it a rest till he sees the scene of the crime. But I'm sure we'll be leaving soon. Well, that's not what we agreed upon. You know this isn't about how long it takes. And what about Okubo? I take it he's still not fessed up? Uh, no. Not quite as of yet, sir. But we all saw where the body was. Exactly where he said it would be. Quite true. Not much point in fighting this now. The Minister has made it clear that he wants it resolved soon as well. Just look at how much trouble one contractor has caused. Sorry, which minister? I didn't know about this, sir. The health minister. It's all his call how much funding we get. The director, if I may, if you would just direct me to the scene of the crime, I could head over there myself. I'll be out of your hair in no time, I assure you. I'd rather you didn't wander on your own. So instead, 
She can show you. Terra Sawakun. These gentlemen here are Shintani Sensei and uh Yagami. It's a pleasure. I hope I can help you find what you need. Well, with that I'll be taking my leave. Thank you again, Director. Apologies for all the trouble. This way. I can show you how to get to Wakusan's room. Who's Wakusan? The guy who died in his room? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And you are... Terasawa-san, huh? Wow, you're young. And a looker to boot. Um, can we keep this professional? Huh? Nice try, Shintani-sensei. Not the friendliest girl in town, huh? We're not exactly welcome guests here. After I busted my ass to pass the bar, I always figured I'd have my pick of the ladies. Right this way, please. Straight ahead is the ADDC's general ward. Wakusan's room is on the fourth floor. This was the room assigned to Wakusan. What's down there? That's the research wing, where they develop all our new drugs. Oh. You can't get in without a gold key card, though. Not even I have one. <laughs> gold, huh? I suppose because it's the heart of the center's operations. Huh. <laughs> Sounds like it's a whole nother world back there. Security like that must be a bitch. Come on, Yagami. Before he died, Wakusan spent most of his time in here. And when was he admitted? Two years ago. With Alzheimer's. Some kind of dementia, right? Alzheimer's is a neurodegenerative disease that leads to dementia, yes. In fact, it's the cause of almost 70% of all dementia cases. So, they're one and the same, kinda? Anyway, do what you gotta do, Yagami. Uh-huh. Hmm. Has anyone else slept here since Wakusan's death? Nobody, no. And Wakusan was missing from his room the morning of the incident, yes? That's right. So, he was murdered here, then carried out. I can't say for sure, but it's likely. Hey, the window's sealed shut. There's no way Wakusan could have escaped through here. All the rooms have windows like this, right? It seems like people would notice if something was going on in here. Well, we only have so many employees in this ward. The halls stay fairly busy, but it's mostly dementia patients moving between appointments. I see. I wonder how the room looks from the hallway. You got all you need from here, yeah? I think so. Hmm, you can definitely see what's going on from out here. Shintani-sensei, can you lay on the bed for me? Uh, I guess so. Care to join me, Terasawa-san? What do you got to lose? Hey. 
It was a joke. So from this vantage point, you can't make out the person's face. So, was this the colossal waste of time I knew it'd be? Nope. I got something I'd only get from being here. Does it matter? It's been days. Case is practically closed. Shinpei Okubo is guilty as hell. Well, according to him, he's not. Well, of course that's what he says. Consider the facts, though, man. You want to review the case? Sure. Let's go over what we know so far. Whatever you want. All right. Here we go. Our victim was the patient staying in this room. Koichi Waku. Male. Age 66. At 8.30 a.m. on the morning of the crime, the nurses noticed he was missing from his bed. Given Waku's degenerative state, they assumed he was wandering around the hospital somewhere. But after being unable to track him down, hospital staff filed a missing persons report. Right. You know what a dementia patient's like, though. Hard to imagine they'd make it outside on their own. The only conclusion, then, was that somebody must have taken him out of the hospital. After inspecting all the cars that came in and out of the center, they were left with one possible suspect. A laundry man by the name of Shinpei Okubo. It didn't take much prodding for Okubo to confess burying Waku's body out in the mountains. And lo and behold, three months after Waku disappeared, the cops found his body rotting away right where Okubo said it'd be. Cause of death was most likely suffocation, but they still don't know for sure. Any objections to this so far, Yagami-sensei? Actually, yeah. You're forgetting something. And what's that? Okubo-kun insists he didn't kill anyone. All he admits to is dumping the body. Oh, sure. But come on, Yagami. Guy's got a history of assault, and it's on record. Roughed up his girlfriend, accidentally broke her finger. Right, but that was over six years ago. He was just a kid. Got drunk, made a huge mistake. And what? It's okay for a kid to hit a woman? Of course not. But that's not what he's on trial for. True. I don't condone what he did. But legally, committing one crime doesn't mean you're guilty of another. Fine. But what about Okubo's shaky alibi? He said he left the center at 10 a.m. after grabbing the sheets from the general ward. Claimed Wakusan's corpse somehow got loaded into his truck. <laughs> Who's gonna believe garbage like that? If anyone should, it's his lawyers. <laughs> We're meeting with Okubo after this, right? You should just be honest with him. Tell him the case is unwinnable. Are you two done here? Yep. Can you show us the garage next? The one where Okubo-kun parked his truck. The service entrance, I think it was. That's the only other place we'll need to see today. We'll need to take an elevator down there. Follow me. I'm ready to go.
Yagami. You're never gonna last if you keep taking cases like this. Criminal suits are a constant test of your conviction. Your sense of justice. They don't even pay that well. Careful who you say that around. Look, just chill out, okay? Take it from me. I've been around the block way longer than you have. <sighs> Looks like a regular old garage to me. Hmm. You'd make it out with no problem if you put a body into your truck down here. It's quiet. It is. Hey, Yagami. Check this out. These are the carts they used to collect sheets and linens. Day of the crime, Okubo was all over the hospital with one of these things. It would have been simple for him to sneak a body in there and cart it right out. Maybe so. Where was Okubo parked on the day of the incident? Oh, um... The truck was parked here, with the back facing the elevator. Here's a recreation of it. I see. DNA evidence from the victim was found in the flatbed of the truck. That's proof enough that the body was there. And when they confronted Okubo, he flat out admitted it. There was evidence that the body was in... When was Wakusan last seen? Just before 8 a.m. on the day of the crime. Yeah, 7.50 to be precise. An ADDC scientist will be testifying to that. He claims he saw him nice and cozy in his bed. I see. Can we talk to this witness? I tried to get an appointment, but they shut me down. Said they don't want us interfering with their research anymore. They're not willing to make an exception this once? This isn't an issue you want to push, Yagami. Worst case scenario, you get charged with witness intimidation. All right, all right. Anyway, the victim was last seen at 7.50. That's right. Breakfast is at 8 o'clock, so the patients who can walk on their own gather in the break room. But on the day of his disappearance, 8.30 came and went with no sign of Wakusan. You thought you'd find him quickly. Didn't exactly turn out that way. Right. Got that, Yagami? Here, let's go over some more details. What we know is... Waku was taken out of his room sometime between 7.50 when he was last seen and 8.30 when everyone noticed he was gone. During that 40-minute span, somebody suffocated Waku and stuffed him into the laundry bin. Nobody suspected there was a body in the cart. And the only clear culprit was Okubo, the man in charge of the laundry. To further back this up, DNA evidence from Waku was found in Okubo's truck. Then when the police questioned Okubo, he confessed to burying the body in the mountains of Okutama. Three months after the crime, Waku's corpse was finally found. With me? This thing's airtight, Yagami. I know you're getting into this, but come on. Just give it up already. You don't have a chance. Even though Okubo says he's innocent, I promised him we'd do everything we could. Not my problem. You shouldn't make promises you can't keep. <sighs> Fine, then I'll do it alone. You don't have to be involved. Even if I'm not, the loss will hurt Genda-sensei's reputation. I'm sorry, but our client says he's innocent. I can't back down from this. Ah, fine. I'll be in the lobby.
Um, if you like, I could take you to see Waku-san's room again. You don't mind? Oh, that would be great. Um, are you finished? Not yet. Just a little longer.